Southern Vanguard Radio. This is DJ John Doe, and right in front of me is my man. Yeah. Yeah, what up, homie? This is Chino. Uh, What's the deal? Yeah, man. Boy, that fall weather is popping right now. Oh, my God. This is the the best time to be out and about right now. Oh, God. We were, talk- no better. we were talking early, man. I-, I was even happy as hell to be on the yard today, raking leaves. <laughs> you can you could tolerate it, man. You could tolerate it. Just think a couple of weeks ago the humidity was knocking motherfuckers out. Oh my God. Dreading to go outside and fucking mow the yard in this Atlanta heat, boy. Right. Good God. Oh Lord. Going outside at eight o'clock talking about cutting the grass. It's <laughs> right. so crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, man. What'd you get into What's this good, weekend, Meeks? Uh, today, I, I enjoyed the weather. I had some errands run this morning, man. I went and washed the car. And, um, picked up a couple of items for the crib and brought it on back to the house, man. But I kept... All right. I found myself, you know, just going outside for nothing <laughs> today What's just because it was so dope. I out, know. So. I know. Yeah. That's just yeah, it's time. It's time to... I, I wish the, the pandemic was over. We really could enjoy it. Enjoy well, I was getting ready to say, it's about all you can do is fucking go outside right now anyway, you know? That's it. That's it. But it was a cool day, man. Chill day. I'm, you know, drinking beers and mm-hmm. all that good shit. you drinking so, or not? You on the ham shit tonight again, too? I'm still on the hams as long as I can get them, man. <laughs> as long as I can get them. When they, when they run out, I got to go to something else. What are you going to do? What that's going to be. What you gonna, what's know. the winter beer? I don't, what's I don't the, know, What's man. the winter budget beer? Shit, <laughs> fuck around and be O.E. in a minute, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Some shit don't change, <laughs> Man. What you get into today? Oh, the shit. Uh, what did I do today? Uh, I went to the grocery. Uh, I did some yard work. And uh, that's about. It. I look like look like I said. I was just happy as hell. It, the weather was so incredible, and I yeah. was just thinking about how low my electric and my gas bills were going to be like the next oh, three boy. months. We about to oh, have yeah. some little extra money. I'm man. in the best mood ever right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, it's good. But you know, family shit. You know, kind of. I, I tell folks all the time. We talk about it on you know here on the show a lot. Is <clears throat> you know, being family men, uh, you know, it gets uh, the weekends are actually busier than the work week for me. You know, that can uh, be, that can be for sure. So you know, just yeah, you know that 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 regular you know dad life, husband life shit. So no doubt. But uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is our Sunday night, uh, you know, I guess poker night, if you will. So uh, yeah, we in the thick of it tonight. Too. Thick of it too. It's some great. real shit. Yeah, man. So uh, shit, let's just get down to business. Uh, if this, if this is the first time you're listening. Welcome. This is Southern Vanguard Radio. We drop twice a week on Tuesdays. It's a mix show. Uh, all the latest and greatest hip hop, all new shit every single week. Uh, cut up, you know, nicely by yours truly. Meeks and I just talking the awfulest bunch of shit you ever heard. Drinking good beer, good bourbon, having a yeah, good time. Man. And then uh, on Thursdays we have an in- <coughs> excuse me, we have an interview session on Thursdays. We were just go in depth with folks, you know, it could be an MC or DJ or producer or A and R like or just some creative, you know, within the sphere of uh this culture we love so much and hold so near and dear to our hearts. So that being said, uh make sure that you follow on whatever your platform is. We're on all of them that really, you know, matter for the most part. Apple Podcasts, uh Spotify Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, MixCloud, uh Stitcher Radio. Uh, you know, we, we post up on YouTube as well and makes, we have some affiliates, uh, you know, around the world to help us get the word out as well. Right. That's correct. We got ATLHipHop.com, I am classic raw radio.net return of the boom bap WRVB X squad radio X squad affiliates, all those in Atlanta. And then we venture out to the West coast with soul public radio. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just get straight to it. Uh, tonight oh, we have two beasts on the phone with us tonight. These <laughs> these these two gentlemen are dropping um, a brand new record this week. We've been playing, you know, the the lead up singles to the record. I'm going to mm-hmm. let them introduce it and talk about it because you know who, who who better than to hear you know what this this uh, this music's about than straight from them. 
But right. uh, you know, off rip, I gotta give a you know a, a big thanks to Jr. Swiss for hooking this up. And uh, you know, we're big Jr. Swiss fans here. Uh, you know, huge. We, we huge fans. We we interviewed this brother about a month, uh, about a year ago, a little over a year to date. And, uh, man, he just keeps steamrolling through this motherfucker. And just, he's had a great, you know, 12, 13, 14 months uh, on top of the record that, that's coming out this week. Um, he's got a couple bangers on this new Armani Caesar shit. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, the one and only J.R. Swift and Elzai. Oh, oh, oh. Man. Yo, yo, what up, yo. Yeah. yeah. What's up, fellas? Man, what we talking about? What's going on? Uh, man, a new record, like new new music, you know what I mean? With my man J.R. Swift's The Beast. <laughs> September, uh, that's September 25th, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah September 25th. So, 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 J.R., like, um, I mean, so we've had, we had you on about a year ago, man, like, how how I mean you actually I think you 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 mentioned this project when we spoke about a year ago, right? If memory serves, were you starting to work on this with L around that time? Yeah, I was I was more so keeping it quiet. I was like, you know, some some things was was brewing up, but um, like later on in that later on in that year, that's when you know he finally announced. But I was basically keeping it on hush hush, but yeah. Yeah. That's why I was I was hitting that. Word. Yeah, you know what? Now I think about it. I think maybe you and I had some some conversations like off uh you know off air about it, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm kind of thinking about. Um mm. but yeah, man. What uh, what's the story between how you guys connected? I don't think we know that. L or JR, I don't know which one of you guys want to tell that story. Uh I mean it's simple. It was Instagram. Like he he sent me something I thought it was dope. And uh you know, when, when when a producer send you beats, well, at least for me, I be wanting to hear like a pack because like sometimes people be getting lucky, or mm-hmm. like sometimes, you know, you know, that might be like the only joint they got, or they might send like twenty beats and there's only one in the in the thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, man, I want him to send some joints, and then he sent them, and all all the joints that he sent was crazy. I was like, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, and uh, it was it was just it was just cool because it was like you know it gave me an opportunity to try to give my man a look, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I know how it feels when, when people like choose the, the big name over like, you know, raw talent, you know what I'm saying? No so doubt. Like, I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, I wanted to give my man a look, not only because he's an ill ass producer, but because, you know, like, like, you know, he, he a light beam, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you know, he, he cool people's good energy, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. No and, doubt. But that's why I like to keep around me, you know? Yeah, I know how you got pulled in. I watch entirely too many J.R. Swift's IG Live videos myself. <laughs> um, so I know how it is. It, it, it's the same show every time. He in that grinding. He ain't looking up. He ain't trying to chop it up with everybody that's popping on his live. He putting that shit together right there in your face. And you got to love that work ethic, man. That's right. That's right. He came with it, man. He came no with doubt. it, man. So <laughs> it, it was a blessing. Hell yeah. JR, what, what can we expect? <laughs> sorry, um, go ahead, Meeks. My bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. What can we expect from this project? We're doing um, just, a, just a digital release, or we, we got physicals coming? How's it how's it being handled? Uh, We're we going to have some vinyls coming out, you know, some vinyls and some special edition vinyls. Okay. But yeah, digitally, uh, you know, iTunes and, um, you know, all your streaming platforms and all that. That is. All right, beautiful. So, so you it guys is. dropped, what, the third single last week, right? Smoking Mirrors? Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy about that? That's like, <laughs> like when he was talking about we was working, like we, we cut like maybe like three, three cuts and then some things popped off and, you know, I got busy and he got busy. And then next thing I know, I ended up doing a record with Crisis and all that, and like doing some other stuff. So we got back in the studio and really started like grinding like real heavy, like like last year, like like either it was like October, November, or something like that. But but Smoke and Mirrors is like one of the first tracks we did, we did, you know. Wow, were y'all really? able to um, put any of this uh, project together 
like face to face or was it all remote work? It it was all like, you know, it was all over the phone. You know what I'm saying? Oh like wow! It was, okay, it was on the phone, a bunch of emails. Okay, you know, like a bunch of emails and and uh, you know, a bunch of like us back and forth, like trying to get stuff right. You know. Hmm. Hmm. So Jr. We, what what was your what was your response when when uh, when L kind of locked in, man? I mean, that's got to I was that's got to be exciting. You know, you, you never know what kind of you know reaction you're going to get when you're sending beats out, right? I mean, man, listen, I, bro, <laughs> I was starstruck. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like I was, I was super starstruck because of the fact that you know how how we linked and. um I think I was telling y'all last year how crazy things happened around my birthday. Mm. And yep. that was one of those things. You know, <laughs> that, that was definitely <laughs> one, one of those things. Um, and that, that was 2017. So, What's that birthday was, again, JR? What's your birthday again? The 9th. October 9th. October 9th. Okay. Yeah, I do recall that because we, we, we in the same uh, birth month, me and you. Right, right, right. Yep. You know, Libra gang. Yeah, so, Libra gang, um, gang. Digital <laughs> scales. Golden right. scales. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it was it was dope though. Like it was definitely like um a, a dope, crazy experience to to work with closely with one of my favorite MCs. And it's and it's still to this day I'm like, yo, this is it's still crazy to me. Still to this day. <laughs> so right. yeah, it was definitely an honor. So was it? Were you guys cooking this up like before all the shit started popping with Griselda Jr. Or was it around the same time? Or um, it was before. I, I would like to say, like technically, I was like that was like my first first placement, like low key. Gotcha. Like okay. that was like my my first joint. So that was like 20, 2017 I ain't worked with West until twenty eighteen. Right. Mm. So um, okay. that's like 20, 2018, we kind of started cooking a little bit. But 2019, that's when we like just back, like back to back. Because we, we started working. Like he was saying he had to do something with, with Crisis. And then I started doing my stuff with, with West and them. And then 2019, that's when we connected and really started putting the pieces together. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in, in, in 2017, like I was just kind of like, I, like, like every now and then I just like put some music up. So I put like one of the joints I did with Jr. and uh, I looked at my DMs and it's Pete Rock. Like, like who was that? You know, so now he was he was being really inquisitive on uh and asking a lot of questions about Jr. when I put that joint up. That's crazy. And, um, yeah, I mean, but it's like, I mean, that's what it's about for me, man. I mean, sure, it's you know, come on, man. You know, it's time to give people. Who got that raw talent to look, man? You know what no I'm saying. Doubt. So it's 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 yo, I'm I'm man, I'm I'm happy for this dude, man. You know, a lot of stuff he did with the Griselda and the new joints he got coming out, man. Yo, man, I'm I'm, I'm excited for him, man. He definitely a workhorse. So I, you you got to give him that. I'm I'm not mad at all about that. L, you just mentioned something. I was gonna ask you about um um. Within the interview, um, like you just said, every now and then you just, you know, throw some music out just to see, you know, where people are at. Um, what what keeps you motivated these days? Because it's, it's you, you, you've seen many different iterations of this hip hop thing. And um, in terms of, of where you come from originally to where it is now, like what keeps you motivated? What keeps you wanting to? you know, um, blow people's ears out every now and then <laughs> something special, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, right. I was telling, I was telling a homie, like, Elzai, he, when he put some shit out, motherfuckers listen, you know, Word. and it's, it, it, it takes over for a good little bit. It's, it's a, it's a media push and Cass is, you know, trying to, trying to do this and trying to do that. Like what Clamoring. keeps you doing that? El? Yeah. <laughs> Man, um, I mean, honestly, man, uh, I still love this shit, man. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I come from an era where you always wanted to top the last shit that you did. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm still a student in this, man. Like, I, I recognize that, you know, 
even a sensei as a student. And mm-hmm. so um, I'm just a student at a game. I, I love it. I love putting words together. I'm, I'm, I'm a scientist with that. Like, you know, I'm, I, I pretty much like, you know, that's, that's really what I'm about is like the technical end of like putting things together. And then, and then after that, it's like making sure that the feeling is there. So, you know, people can appreciate it on both levels, but um, yeah, just wordplay, man. Just, just, just doing new music, just getting a dope beat. Like, you know, Hey Tom, Hey Tom, my man was they Hey Tom Jr. was hitting me with new shit. I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? It just made me want to write. You know, that's that's some shit that I would do if I was working at the plant or, you know, working at the post office. Man, I'd be writing shit in my head all day. So, word. I'm just a fan of it. Okay. Yeah, that's dope. I Get think I think it's not. No, no, no. I'm it's, just I'm it's just like, thinking it's like a pause, this. like. Nah, it's, it's we just you know going through going through notes and trying to make sure we as thorough as possible, man. <laughs> okay. But what I was what I was I, just I, I didn't know if my signal was uh, I didn't know if my signal was was whack. You know, nah, no, you're good. good. Yeah, El Meeks okay. and I try not to walk over one another because yeah, usually we're in this we're in the same room with one another. But you know, since COVID hit, uh, you know, we've been doing this we've been doing this virtually. Usually, we record this from my lab. Um, but uh, so you know, we we just we try not to walk over all over one another. You know, just asking questions, and you know how it is when you kind of you're not there to you know see one another you know in person. So I, that's all that was. Exactly. Okay. No doubt. Yeah, you good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, how how's um how's the the lead up to the release going? Uh, more and more people starting to find out that y'all dropping this on the twenty fifth. What's uh what's it looking like out there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's more interviews, man. It's, it's more looks on different websites or whatever. So yeah, it's 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 like a snowball effect right now. We are okay. we on a few playlists. You know what I'm saying? Like a few a few nice little playlists that's popping off right now on on different streaming sites. So yeah, it's looking good. That's what's up. Mm. So so, uh, L, I was actually going to ask you that you, you mentioned, and actually both you and Jr. mentioned this because um, I was. You know, just going back and, you know, looking at, you know, your, your history release wise over the past couple of years, obviously, obviously Jericho Jackson project was done with one producer and this was done with one producer. So this is just kind of coincidence that this just dropped like this, that you kind of locked in with one producer in particular for the last two projects or was it intentional? And like, well, what's, what's kind of your thought as far as, you know, doing projects that are one producer based? I mean, it was definitely intentional. So stay tuned. I'm just to say that, but okay, it, it, it was it was def it was definitely intentional. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it, I like to get with producers that I feel like is diverse that can give me different types of sounds. Like if I wanted something grimy, they can produce that. If I wanted something like pretty or whatever, they could produce that. So yeah, I only I only do like one album joints with producers that got a, a wide range or a variety of different vibes. So okay. yeah, and, and when you're working with one producer, you know, it's just like a primo and a guru. It's like, I yeah. mean, everything is cohesive as well, you know. And you can be cohesive if you have a project with various producers, but you know, nine times out of ten with one producer, it's gonna it's, it's gonna definitely have a cohesive sound. Yeah. JR, what was uh, JR? What was your biggest, uh, I guess, surprise kind of coming out of this project, man? Now, now that it's all it's done and it's getting ready to be released to the world, like, what's, what, is there one particular experience or just something that's kind of happened as a result of you know doing this with L? And now that folks are hearing the music, you're kind of giving some different reactions. Yeah, I want to say, um, I wouldn't say a surprise. I, w- I would think. I mean, it was a surprise for myself just to release it to the world um, the way that we did. Um, more, more so like a surprise to the world, and it's still a surprise to, to me. But um, the amount of love that we was getting from the singles, you know, and then be able to do a challenge with the Light One record and have fans, you know, give they they bar, <clears throat> excuse me, give they bars. Right to uh to the to the challenge, know what I mean. So that was that that was I want to say a, a surprise in a sense, but it just 
the reaction that people was giving. Like, yo, it was a great response. I'm on Twitter, looking at the, the, the tweets from everybody, and then a post, and everybody was just rocking with the single. So that, that means a lot to me. Like, okay, so, yeah, <laughs> like, this is, you know, we, we definitely got one. I knew we have been had one, but now giving it to, to the world and piece by piece, it was like, okay, this is, yeah. And I've been tweeting heavily, like, yo, we got album of the year. I'm going to see that. And I've been, oh. I stand by that. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I stand so by that. What? Basically, in a <laughs> nutshell, homie, this this is the last one of the last time we're gonna get to talk to Jr. Yep, man. this is this, it. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, this, <laughs> we got we got to make the most <laughs> of this. El, Elza might come back and chop it up with us, but but Jr. about to be <laughs> on from the stratosphere, man. <laughs> nah, nah, man. Listen, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all know my vibes. I'm always humble, and you know I'm one of those Absolutely. people. Absolutely, get where you know where I started. So you know, um. I'm just ready to go to work. Like, I feel like I got to put in more work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, yeah. the work, it, it just not, never stops. This is definitely another milestone, um, another milestone for me. Now it's just, just keep, keep grinding because, you know, I, I want a longevity in this career. You know, we see a lot of artists and producers kind of come and go. Every single every single day, I want to have long longevity, and I feel no doubt. with this project, with this project especially, is going to show the range, and not just put me into one particular sound. It's yeah. going to show like, okay, he could do some Gazelle shit, and he could do this type of stuff too. And wait, I like to show people, yo, I'm just not one trick pony. Like I can no chop singles, I could do crazy drum programming and the same Jason showed that like right, I yeah that. I noticed that I was like what like, <laughs> yeah and, man. and then you get then you get a regular like light one right one some cool soulful and then you just you know you just you just get off you just talk me you talk then you go some with smoking mirrors where I was able to get personal on that record and then the, the beat just you know, something completely different. I had somebody tweeted like tweet to me, yo, um, is it's crazy how I went different with with L with this with the singles. I'm like, nah, this is this always been JR. Right. It's just mm-hmm. y'all never got this side for me yet. So now you're gonna have mm-hmm. two two different worlds. So Yeah. Yeah, Jr. I'm really wow. glad you're doing that, man. Like, cause I, I, I know. I mean, like, I, I think when I when I when I locked in with you, I think what what mm-hmm. made me realize um, that you were you were just a little bit different than everyone else else out right now is when I heard that joint on the Con, the Conway shit. What was it? Food? Was that the joint? Yeah, yeah. man. When I yeah. heard that, I mean, it's, L, it's funny you bring up Pete Rock. Because when I heard that joint, you know, I, I just, I played the joint, right? And I just let it roll. I was, you know, in the car and I was just like, God damn. I was like, this sounds like a Pete Rock joint. I was like, who who did this shit? So I, I, I got back to the house and I looked this shit up and I was like, J.R. Swiss. I was like, oh, this, this guy, there's something different about this guy. And then, you know, as I started digging in a little bit more and, and obviously J.R. after we, you know, we had you on the show and we started talking to you and, you know, we, we've just, you know, kind of built a relationship over the past you know, year, year and a half. I'm just, um, I'm, I'm glad to see the world get to see this, this side of your production. You know what I mean? Like we saw it a little bit too with like the, with the technical foul shit at the top of the year, but you'll never know. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you could tell, you know, you, you could see, you know, you, you spreading out there and showing off these other sides of you. And, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just happy to see you on the stage, man. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. And all jokes aside, man, we 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 genuinely excited for both of y'all, man. Absolutely. As far as you know, as far as you concerned, Elza, we we huge fans, you know, from your work with um Slum Village, your solo work. Um, like I said, you keep, you know, every now and then just just blowing cats' brains out just with a release that <laughs> might not even have no date, no press, mm-hmm. nothing. But Elza I got a new record out and everybody need to go sit down for a minute. And um, for you, for you, yeah, man, for you, Jr. It's just 
um, just like L was saying, man, sometimes you got to give you got to give the 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 up and comers um, that the new blood. You got to give them a look so they can get the proper look. And 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 make their way into this thing officially. So we're just excited for both of y'all, man. It's it's a it's a good time right now too. Like like I think cats are ready for for something like this. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah, man. We uh we 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 went in there and uh, we we really just like put our heads down, man, and just wanted to make something that we thought was cool. And um, yeah, I just hope people appreciate and enjoy it, man. So, sure they will. I'm sure they will. So you guys kept the features to this uh, this joint fairly limited, right? I mean, other than other than um, I believe on Smoke and Mirrors, you had Monica Blair. I think she's on another joint on the album, and Fez Rocks maybe on another one. That's about it, right? Uh, yeah. And in addition to my man Foolish, who do the skits on the album, Foolish the comedian. Mm, okay. You ever heard of him? He crazy. I, he, crazy. It sounds familiar, man. But let me ask you this: what 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 skits we looking at? Because I just mentioned uh, Slum Village, the that fantastic volume two. The skits on there was stupid, and you know I come from a time where you know De La Soul had the skit game on lock. Um, what y'all what y'all dealing with on these skits, man? I'm intrigued, man. <laughs> Bad. I don't really want to say too much, but like he's fooling on there, man. That's he's doing crazy. exactly what I he's doing exactly what I envisioned him to do, man. Like, cause I was like, man, what I want to, cause it's really like a a it's like a a concept to the record, but it's like way in the back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, but yeah, it's it's pretty much foolish. You know, like uh, taking the time out to listen to the album, and so and so. I wanted it to make it. I wanted to make it feel like you were going on that journey with him, like you were listening to the album with him. Okay. So he pops in, and you know, he pops in and might comment on the song or something. You know, might talk about how crazy that was, and then stop the music and bring it back or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's what's that? Uh, what's that story like, L? You, you guys know one another, or I don't know any, anything about Foolish, to be frank with you. So. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Foolish is a um he's a comedian from the D, man. He's been in movies and all that. Okay. Um I just I actually just heard like somebody battling and using his name in a battle rap. Like oh, all right. okay. on some URL shit. But uh okay. but yeah, um I've been knowing Foolish since like the nineties. You know, Foolish has been a part of the city and the staple of Michigan for a minute. Like he was mm-hmm. actually on a radio station like WJLB in the Penobscot building. And um, I think it was the Penobscot. I'm not sure, but yeah, he was he was he was on the radio, uh, you know, WJLB, and a lot of people know him. Um, well known in the city, crazy with the with the comedy man. And um, I, I definitely wanted to give him a look too. You know what I'm saying? Because even though he's accomplished a lot, I, I wanted to introduce him to my fans. So yeah, that's mm-hmm. how that went down. Mm-hmm. So, so you were talking about the concept of the album, uh, L. What's up with the title? Can you can you give us any insight there? Or do you want to wait till folks hear the record? Or, I mean, you know, it, you know, seven times down, eight times up. Like, I mean, you know, it's it's really just saying, like, you know, when you get knocked down or you fall, you got to get back up. You know, and um, personally, for me, you know, this is an up period at this time. You know, so mm-hmm. you know when it when the album's op- when the album opens up. It, it, I'm, I'm just get like I look at it. I look at it as, as I'm, I'm just getting up, and then by the end of the record, I'm all the way up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, I've yeah. heard that uh, phrase associated with, uh, with, with Dwayne Wade um, earlier in his career. You know, as, as physical as a player as he was, uh, I, I even think they did a commercial um, surrounding that, that term or that phrase. Um, going to the hole or whatever, he get knocked down, knocked down, knocked down. He's like, you can knock him down seven times, but if he gets up on that eighth one, you got to watch out. So yeah, uh, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's a that's 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 some powerful shit right there, man. That's hell. What yeah, is- man, it's it's it's. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's it, I mean, and what's crazy is I don't even remember seeing that commercial, but I have mm-hmm. seen that commercial recently. Yeah, and. And but yeah, it really came from like me on a spiritual journey, 
and it, it just it was just something that you know I was I was told to look at and and take and, and really take in and appreciate that the fact that you know it's just like a little baby it's like you know a little baby going to fall and get up until they master the art of walking mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. yeah. I just feel like you know I just feel like you know as 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 adults you know you know we should be we should be like like the babies that's trying to trying to learn how to walk you know what I mean yeah. you always got to get up you know what I'm saying so yeah it's the only way you're going to learn, for sure. It's funny you say that. Oh, I've, I've got a four-year-old. I have I have a range from four year. I have four kids, four, year, four years old to 14, right? And, uh, yo, man, my four-year-old right now is so hard-headed, man. It's so damn determined. And, like, it's funny you say that because literally <laughs> the other day I was like, man, I was like, I, I need to take some lessons from this guy, man, because this, this guy is so damn <laughs> persistent and, like, has no fear. And is you know not worry or overthinking anything. You know it's it's really hard as adults to be able to you know have that frame of mind. Exactly, exactly, man. I mean, you can learn a lot from the kids. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> the kids is like they they so close to you know the unknown. You know what I'm saying? They like fresh out the womb and yeah. no stress. You know, no depressed, no depression. Like yeah. the world is they oyster. Their imagination is big and. You know, doubt is not even in a vocabulary. Right. So, you know, when you when you become an adult, you know, you get plagued by, you know, time like father time or whatever, like what people got to say or people naysayers or whatever like that. So it's 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 you can learn a lot from kids. Absolutely. No doubt. What's what's in the background of the cover here, L, of the album? Is it painting? Uh, it's just a painting? Oh, 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 it's, it's just a little painting. You know what I'm saying? Little painting that's hanging up on the wall or whatnot. Okay. No, no significance. Nothing to look look into any no, deeper I just than like that. Okay. Shit to me, you know? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Hey, Jr. I got a question for you. I'm looking here. Um, the homie at the top mentioned that um, you're on the new Armani Caesar project. Um, what I did know is that. Uh, uh, you did some work with uh, Key Turner, and um, mm-hmm. you know we we play her music on the show. Yeah, we're big Key well. Turner fans. Yeah, big. What's um? First of all, what was the um, Armani Caesar project um, like l- working with her? Was it you know was it um, one on one time in the studio? Was this or was this remote work? Y'all flying stuff back and forth. Nah, um, I don't know what's gonna kill me, but you know, I'm I'm keeping a band though always. <laughs> um, so the beats came down, and the Gucci casket was for West. Mm-hmm. That was originally for mm. for West for his new album that's coming out, and um, he passed on them. I won't say pass. I most he passed on them, but he he gave it up to Shorty, and I didn't even know. I you know I'm thinking, all right, cool. He passed on them. I'm about to go ahead and shop you somewhere else. They fire you. Mm-hmm. So when her album had leaked, um, I'm listening. I'm like, you know what? Let me just go go listen. Mm. And I heard the first joint. I'm like, okay. So he gave it a hug. Cool. And she went off. Okay. That's the countdown joint, and then um, I'm going through the the, the songs again. I'm, well, I'm finishing going through the songs. Then I came across the Gucci Casket joint, and I'm like, okay, so I got two joints on here. And looking at the tweets and everything from everybody else, a lot of people saying like that's those two records is the best joint, or at least beat wise. Mm-hmm. Like the best joints on on a project, but I never really work with Shorty like face to face on how I'm okay. at, nothing like that. Like that's that's literally my first time actually working with her, which is dope because I think she she did her thing on both records. You know, I was gonna I, ask I you. You think she? Did. You think yeah. she got a real shot? You think she got a legitimate shot? I I think so. I think, like I said, I was keeping a, a beam. I think. She could tidy certain things up, but Shorty mm-hmm. got it. Like she just, you know, blocked out all of the the negative energy about 
her sounding like, you know, previous female MCs, but mm-hmm. she she got it though. I mean, okay. I mean like she got that ear and she she went West. West will make sure she go anyway. Okay. But she got the ear. Like that's one of the things that drew me to, to even listening to the project even more. Yeah. And going back and listening to it even more was the production was was fire. Like I'm on the joint with 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 Primo and I was like Word. that's fire. Man, that was yeah. fire, so no doubt. Yeah, I did. The timing's great, man. That's that. That's the other thing I love about this whole thing with you know with with y'all's record rolling out. It's just all this momentum, you know, on both sides. Just going into this thing this week is definitely. You know, you couldn't plan it, right? You're talking about how you know how you kind of you started and you stopped, and you know you both had to focus on other things. And I mean, it's really kind of perfect timing, in my opinion. Yeah, it's funny you yeah, say that, man, because it, it was it was, you know, I was trying to get it out earlier, and I was kind of frustrated that it didn't come out earlier. But yeah, it's just like with everything else, man. It's like, you know, it, it's going. You know, I pray for perfect timing. So you know, as as a, as a as a human being, as a spirit in a human body, man, I just um, you know, sometimes I get a little impatient, but at the end of the day, I know that. You know, things happen when they're supposed to, man. And by it drop, I didn't even know that she was dropping the record. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I didn't know what he had in, in, in the background or whatever. Mm-hmm. It just so happened to fall when it fell. And and it's, 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 it's creating a nice little buzz for him, man, which, which he deserved all of the praise, you know what I'm saying, for his hard work, you know? No doubt. Yeah, I mean, now, even hell, going I, back I, to I it being pushed is, back, um, right? I mean, I think the uh, JR won the... When the Armani Caesar shit supposed to be out like a couple weeks ago or three we- weeks ago, and they they push it back due to um due to Shay's passing. Right, right, yeah. It's supposed to have been last last month. It's supposed to have been last month. Um, it's supposed to be. It was supposed to have been her, and then the week after, something like that. West dropped too. Right. But, you know the um, the untimely um, passing of uh, DJ Shay. You know, uh, rest in peace. He uh or she excuse me she and was decided yo we gonna push the right the, the, the albums back so right well I think everybody because I think um well no I, I think Khan was already dropping it in September well yeah they pushed it back too they were supposed to drop September like the early part but then he pushes it back so yeah everybody kind of was pushed back so yeah that's so uh, rest in peace yeah. DJ Shay no doubt. Wired up. Rest in peace. Uh, quick question. That that frustration you were just talking about, is that does that stem from the fact that this is uh this project's coming out on your label? Uh, I, am I seeing that correct? On uh Glow 365? Yeah, we partnered up with uh Fat Beats. Okay. And Soul Spasm. Yeah. All right. To uh to do this record. Mm-hmm. Okay. You've been, is this just uh, your imprint, your personal imprint, or should we be looking out for other projects from other artists or producers uh, to come out on your label? Man, I, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta drop some, I gotta drop some more bombs first before I do that because I mean, okay. I, I'm, I, it's, it's like I, I wouldn't want to shorthand, or I want, I wouldn't want to half step somebody's career like that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, maybe in a couple years, you may. You may hear like an artist on a label, but I'm yeah. gonna play with nobody's careers. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? So yeah, yo. So so right now it's just gonna be me. You know, like dropping, you know, d- dropping grenades or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but that uh, but that partnership um uh, for this project that's that's kind of kind of where that frustration comes from. I'm just excited about releasing something um at this time or at this point. I mean, <clears throat> well, the thing was, I wanted to, I wanted to have it out like last year. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and and a couple of unfortunate events popped off, and it made it hard for me to accomplish that. So, you know, that's where the frustration came from because I was pushing for it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I was, it was, it was, it was the many late nights I was up and the early mornings I went to the studio and and, and rarely eating or what, you know what I'm saying? Like just, yeah. just really like putting my head down, trying to make this music at a faster pace to like put out last year. And it didn't happen. So when it didn't happen, I was like, okay, what's going on or whatever. So, you know, um, 
And then it was a bunch of other stuff that happened too, man, which like, you know, like I say, you know, like in the beginning and in the present, you think that, you know, everything's falling apart, but in actuality, I mean, it's meant to happen, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For you to overcome it and be stronger. So, um, yeah, so we reached out to Fat Beats and they was with it and then boom, there you go. There it is. Mm, Beautiful. I love that. Did did COVID-19 impact you guys any as far as this release dropping? Nah. No? Nah. I mean, I'll say it like, nah, like, yeah, no, I want to, yeah, I mean, I don't want to, like, if it did affect somebody, I, I don't want to not be sympathetic to that, because I am, but, sure. um, no, I didn't, it didn't, it didn't affect us, man, like, we just, okay. you know, we just, we just try to, we just found a date that worked for us, and we sticking with it. Stay right. focused. Right, That's what's up. So, what what do you guys got in, uh, got in store for the rest of 2020? You just, we're going to push this album through the end of the year, and Got anything else you can talk about coming up, or is it going to be twenty twenty one before we can see any, see whatever's next? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say too much, man. You know, uh, I mean, what you could see though, I mean, you you, you might be seeing some videos from this project. Okay, you know? all right. Oh, that'll be well, dope. I could, I could that. Yeah, okay. yeah, that'll be real dope. What you got up, Jay? Um, for me. I mean, since he was on live, so he kind of announced it. Um, I guess I could see it. I got a joint coming out. Well, it was on his project, but I got a joint with the Lord coming out in a few months. Um, that then he played a record. That record was fire. That thing was like pookie crack. Like it was, it was. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's definitely what was, was dope. and that's also another lane that I jumped into um, the, the beat is, is definitely definitely different who's the artist again JR? who's the artist Denon again Porter. Denon Porter oh Denon Porter. Denon okay. oh, got you got oh, you beautiful alright so that's out before the end of the year you think JR? oh Denon Detroit. Porter that's what's up another that's Detroit rep word yeah yeah, I mean, I remember, I remember when he, uh, I remember when you told me he reached out to you. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, um, he, he came through on the live and I was playing the joint, and um, he was like, "Yo, let me get that." I'm like, I bet. So I sent him the joint, and then I want to say maybe a few weeks later, maybe probably like a week and a half. He was on live, and I jumped on the live. And then he ended up requesting me, and my eye was good. You know, we chopping it up back and forth. And I was like, "Yo, I want to hear what you did with the joint that I sent you." He's like, "I bet I got you." So he played it on live, and he went crazy. <laughs> and he told me he got a special guest on there too. So he ain't tell me. So I'm just waiting to see who got on there. But I, I, yeah, I think I know, but I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's what's <laughs> up that's what's up yeah get used to that jr i got a feeling you got a, a lot of that shit in your future here man so no doubt <clears throat> you know yeah hey, man, i, I want to say i appreciate y'all everybody uh for the love and support man like it's, it's definitely times where the mp was definitely about to get up out of here quite a few times really mm. okay no lie yeah all right that's that that's that struggle though, man. That's 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 uh that 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 makes it all worthwhile in the end when you got stuff like this coming out. So yeah, we we all been through that, man. That's just part of it. You know what I'm saying? I think I think that I, I think at the end of it though, you're gonna get rid of it for another reason so you can get something better. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I mean it, it, it's possible, but it, it was just the, the frustration, man, like you know, as producers, we we question ourselves and, and our art, and yeah, I mean, even still having placements and, and oh, I was still like, man, I feel like, what can I be doing more as far as branding? It was more right. so sort of that and other things too. But it's like, man, what can I do more? I'm always looking to evolve in some form of fashion. Mm-hmm. Like, how can I make my beats better? How can how can I make you know the mixing? Whatever, what, how can I just evolve as a producer? And there's plenty of times where we just frustration. Yeah. 
Oh, you've yeah, been able to help him in territory. Oh, you've been able to help him, uh, you know, manage through some of that. Just, you know, having a few more years under your belt. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I didn't know that he was, he was going through that, you know? Um, okay. right. yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, we, we talk about different things though, man. Anything that he want to know, you know, I could, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, he definitely can come to me, you know what I'm saying? Hell I'm definitely yeah. going to let him know what the risk is. You know what I'm saying? It's all about staying safe, like separating allies from enemies, you know? So, no doubt. you know, so yeah, it's just, that's just what it is, man. Like anything he, anything he need from me, man, I'm just a phone call away. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Well, yo, man, I hope at some point, man, uh, all this stuff calms down and we can, can, can like finally, you know, meet up. I mean, JR, you, 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 you about a regular on this show now, man. It's only right that we, we get you down to Atlanta at some point, man. We'll come through and, and, and do the real thing face to face. And L, I done bumped into you a couple of times over the years. Like I was the, uh, I was a slum village rep here in Atlanta when um when things was really big uh during that that good vibe situation that was before you got down but i do recall a show um you by 10 t3 at uh the apache cafe and uh we had the honor of, of bringing you out on stage bringing y'all out on stage man and um a couple of years ago at the a3c you was here um we had a big showcase at at the uh, 529, I think you was up the street at the Earl, and uh, we bumped into each other afterwards, man. So every, every time I met you, man, just the the the, the coolest, realest dude. Um, hope to see you again soon one day, man. Man, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. I, no man. doubt. And uh, like I say once again, thank you for this opportunity, man, to allow us to you know, uh, promote what we're doing on your platform, man. I appreciate it. Nah, that's what we're here for. We 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 need more content like y'all bringing to the table to keep our keep us going. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motivate us. That's right. Uh, y'all keep y'all keep us relevant and and you know relatable to you know a couple of different generations at this point because it's not just old dusty motherfuckers like us that listen to this <laughs> show. Out there. It's just some. It's some it's some young cats that's, that's picking up on it and getting some game from it and stuff like that. So, yeah, we we need each other, man. We need each other, you know. Definitely. Yeah. That is, man. That, that's man. You spoke it, man. You took the words right out of my mouth. Man. Yeah, so, man. Thank you, man. Hell yeah! And anytime y'all got some, Jr. know this already, but L, anytime you got something you wanna throw it out there as a test or or whatever the case may be, man, send it our way. We'll we'll treat it right. Ah oh, man, thank you. Yes, thank you, sir. man. Yeah. All right. JRL, you, you guys want to tell everyone uh where they can hit your socials and more importantly where they can go buy the project. Um we know purchases are, are, are super important right now. Streaming's great, but like just let everybody know where they can support you. And um, you know, we'll we'll let we'll let you guys uh, you know, get on with your evening and we'll get into some of these joints. Hell yeah. Uh, it's good looking, man. Um, yeah, you can get at me on Elzi on all the socials. That's E L Z H I. Um the the album you can get the album on uh, uh iTunes, you can stream it on on any uh digital platform, and we'll also have uh records and special edition vinyl for you. So yeah, just just be on the lookout, man. September twenty fifth. That's like nine to five. Like that's that's like real work hours. And um, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Hope to see y'all soon. Word. No doubt. Thank you, LJR. What about you, homie? I mean, Jr. Swift, J R S W I F T Z. That's on all socials, Twitter, um, IG, whatever. Um, even on YouTube, same thing. Um, listen. Album of the year. I'm calling it album of the year. Okay. Seven times down, eight times up. And we we out, man. This listen, we trying to bring that that sound back, like in full effect. So, let's stay tuned. 
JR, let me get that low bucket I seen you in today, man. Let me hey, let, let me hold that. Let me hold that. Yo, why are you trying to rob me from my low bucket? <laughs> 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 I get it back to you, man. I'm I'm good for it. <laughs> man, listen, you, you let somebody some low and it's on fire, you're not you're not, you're not, you're not getting, getting that man. shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Homies, right. y'all stay up, man. Thank we y'all. Gonna, we're gonna play these, we're gonna play these joints. Yeah, we're we gonna are. play the hell out of these joints. Yeah, we and, are. Uh, Thank we'll, you, we'll talk to you, we'll talk to y'all soon, man. Thank y'all. Okay, y'all. Thank you. Again. Yes, sir. Appreciate you it. too. Peace. Peace, y'all. Peace. Peace. Yeah, stay safe, yep. Yeah. All right, Meeks. There you go, my brother. Wow. Yeah, that's that's just, love that's, right that's, there. That's love. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's love. That's two Hell good brothers yeah. right there, man. I love this shit. Oh. No doubt. No doubt. That's a, that's a, that's a deadly combo right there. That's de- dude. That's what's so funny. We we didn't we didn't really get into it, but when I heard those two guys were working, I just mm-hmm. knew it was going to be some special shit. Because obviously, I don't know L. I know Jr. a little bit. We know Jr. a little bit just from you know yeah. building with him over the past little bit. But man, when I heard that combo was going to get together, I was like, this is going to be some sh- some real real like that feel good honest like soulful shit you know like i just knew it's just the dynamics of it man it's um you know it's 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 a perfect storm the perfect combination of youth um versus you know teaming up with a veteran you know what i'm saying for the most part Uh, um you know not not to directly comment on either one of them's age but of course we know l's eye he got a history yeah, and and Jr. is making a name for himself, and it's like just for them to come together. You know, you got people like Pete Rock taking notice, and yeah, he fuck with the Grizzle, the Cats, and you know, L's I fuck with who he fuck with. It's just a, it's just a, a perfect storm, man. Yes, sir. I yeah. love it. I do. Too. I love it. I do too. All right, so again, seven times down. I'm gonna fuck it up. Hold on. No, we gotta get this one right. I, I gotta get this right. I don't have we can fuck time. some names up during the show. We fuck this all one. this up. <laughs> Seven times down, eight times up. Elzai and Jr. Swift is out on September twenty fifth. It's Friday. It's Friday. So you're gonna hear this on. Well, you'll probably hear the snippets on Tuesday on episode two sixty five. Mm-hmm. Two sixty five this week, right? Two sixty five on yeah. the mix and. uh yeah, man. Make sure you cop this album, all right? All this streaming shit's cool. I need y'all to buy this motherfucker, all right? Buy it digitally or buy the vinyl or buy the CD or buy the tape or whatever the fuck. I need you to buy the shit. Yeah, they fucking with Fat Beats for a reason. They're going right? to have merch. They're going to have yeah. physicals. Go get this shit. Buy the shit and then stream it, all right? Yeah. You want to talk about some real support. That's what you do. You buy the shit and you stream the shit. No doubt. You know, we're going to get into this. Let's see. We already played Jason and Light One, Right One the past two episodes. We're going to get into this Smoke and Mirrors joint um, mm-hmm. with Monica Blair on 265. And you're going to have to wait. Uh, you're going to have to wait until 925 to hear the whole shit. I beg for an exclusive. But they weren't having it. <laughs> That's OK. But I respect That's all it. Right. I respect oh, yeah, you gotta respect it, man. Absolutely. They, they, Every day. They, they just being a little protective of that shit. They Every never day. I, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mix. All right, homie. What is it, man? What is it, my man? It's that Smithsonian uh, Gray, my Smithsonian dude. It's Smithsonian Gray, man. Guggenheim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Guggenheim. You know what it is. We are the guard, man. Southern Vanguard Radio. Yeah. DJ John Doe, Cappuccino. Yeah. And we out. We out. Yeah.